I'm going to show you how to customize the Quick Access Toolbar. So first let's take a look at the Quick Access Toolbar itself. So this is the bar right at the very top left of the screen. And uh, normally you just get a few of these buttons here by default, but you can extend these out and add uh, almost any option that you normally would work with uh, from the ribbon bar. You can get to and add to the Quick Access Toolbar. So uh, to use the Quick Axe Toolbar, it's really simple. You just simply click on the button, um, something like uh, going into Explore mode here. I just click on that, so then I can start navigating around the screen. If I want to go back into Selection mode, I can do that. Uh, sometimes there'll be a little down arrow, and you have options available as well. So you might want to take a look at that sometime if you happen to notice that uh, there's an arrow next to one of the icons here. But let's take a look at how to actually customize this. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is go into this uh, uh, drop down arrow here. So it's going to point down. I'm just going to click on that. It's going to show us some of the options. You can uh, do things kind of quickly where you're selecting some of these options here. But really, the to really get to where you can customize it, you're going to want to go to the more commands option. So I'm going to click on that. And what it's showing on the right hand side is all of the current toolbar options that you have uh, currently listed. And uh, then you have the ability to add and remove those. So we're going to actually gonna, I'm going to show you how to add the measure distance and the attributes options here. So to do that, first I'm going to actually need to remove these. So I'm going to click on measure distance and I'm just going to click remove. And I'm going to do that with attributes as well. So I'm going to click on remove. So I want to add the attributes option back. So there's a couple ways of going about doing that from this choose commands from option. Uh, there's the all commands and list of tabs. We're going to go over how to do each of these uh, one time. So the attributes one is a little bit easier to access by using list of tabs. So I'm going to click on that. Um, it's going to show us all the tabs first, and I can drill down and find the option that I'm looking for. But first, take a, let's take a look at where you normally find that in the ribbon bar. So we happen to be on the map menu or, or ribbon, and if you look across here, you'll see the attributes is in this selection um, kind of a category here. So uh, to make this easier, they kind of give you that same structure to be able to find things. So uh, we're going to just basically follow those same uh, steps to be able to then find the attributes button. So first, we need to go down the list here and look for the map tab. OK, so we found that. And I'm going to expand that by clicking on the arrow. And then next, uh, we need to find selection, since that's the kind of category that it's in. So I'll click on that. And it opens up a few more options. And there's the attributes. So I'm going to click on that. And then just say Add. And so now when I say OK, the Add button will then show up in the list. So there it goes. Uh, notice that it did take the previous attributes and the measure distance off the uh, the toolbar, but we just added this one back on. So now I can go ahead and uh, select something and then click on the attributes button. Actually, that was already shown, so let me close that. Click on the attributes button, and there it is. So let's go ahead and go back in, and this time we're going to find the measure distance. So again, clicking on this down arrow, going to more commands, and then this time, though, we're going to change this to all commands. Now, this gives you everything that's possible. And it's a big, gigantic list, which makes it kind of difficult to find things. But they did get to give you a handy search bar. And you can use that to then find the option a little bit more quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and type in measure distance. OK, and so it found the measure distance um, option here. So I'm just going to click on that and then say Add, and then OK. And it's going to add that up here in just a second. There it is. So now I can start measuring distances. So you might want to know the difference between, you know, why would I use the uh, the tabs approach versus the all commands. It really has to do with the options. So um, with all commands is if you happen to know the exact name, then you can go right to it, uh, like measure distance. But some things like, uh, I think attributes is a good example. When I type that in, 
you can get sometimes several different options that all have attributes in their name. And so it's not always easy to differentiate between them this way. Um, so if it's something where you get a lot of results and you're just really not sure, then using the list of tabs approach is probably a little bit better way. It helps to kind of narrow your focus and uh, takes you to the one uh, that you're most likely to be wanting to use. Sometimes you have to experiment a little bit um, and so you can just select one, add it to the toolbar, try it out. Usually that's not something that's gonna be harmful. So uh, feel free to experiment a little bit in trying to get your quick access toolbar just right.